guys it's scarlet at build across and today i'm going to show you how i paint this super cute tropical cutout this is a paint by line which means all the lines are etched into it by our machines and you can purchase this on buildacross.com along with the dixie bell chalk paint i'm using so the color i went in first with was pine cone and i'm going in now with putty for just this little rim on my um, coconut i wanted to say pineapple and then i'm going to go in with um some white and this color is cotton which is dixie bell's whitest white and this is kind of like the inside of my coconut and then i'm going to paint the um drink or liquid um in my um coconut in the gulf kind of like a water color And then next I'm going to go in with some of the color peony and I'm going to paint um, two sections on my little umbrella here. And then this is honky tonk red. And then this is um, Florida orange. Keeping um, this colors, the colors on my um, umbrella kind of in the same um, category. So I'm using red, pink, and orange. And then I'm using that peony color again on my flip flops. And I also use the golf for my sunglasses. And now I'm going to go in with a little bit of um, Savannah Mist, and that's the color I'm going to paint the um, base for my umbrella. And I'm also going to use Savannah Mist for my sunglass. And this is Flamingo, and I love Flamingo and Peony together, so I use them together quite often. And then once I'm done base coating, I'm going to allow everything plenty of time to dry. And then I'm going to go in with my Sharpie brush stroke marker. So this Sharpie marker makes this step so easy. Um, it gives me a lot of ability to be able to make clean lines, uh, which is why I choose it. And um, I'm just following the lines that are etched into the cutout for me. So I'm not having to figure out or decide where any of these lines are. Um, I'm just following the lines that are there for me. And then I'm going in and highlighting with a number four round and the color cotton. And I just like to highlight um, on the outer edges of my design. And then anytime I'm painting like water or glass, I like to do this little squiggly highlight. And that completes my project. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and have a wonderful day.